We're in Tehachapi, California right now. It's a small town. Out here, the weather is always changing. We have huge wind gusts that come through, but mostly this is a desirable spot for testing. When you're standing in the wind, you know that that's potential energy that can be used at home. A lot of engineers design items. They never get to be up close. When we want to see if something works or how it works, come to the wind turbine and look at it from there. This place really is where all GE researchers have tried out all kinds of concepts on the prototype turbines. Prototype has been here to do all kinds of, you know, controls testing, right? Controls or any modifications that we want to do. We've taken on some really big projects and now we're venturing off into new ideas for the future of wind, such as the battery storage program. There are some inherent inconsistencies with wind as a fuel source. That's really where this next step that we're taking with the battery storage systems with the brilliant turbine is having wind turbines talk to each other, having farms talk to each other, being in better communications with the grid to make a connected network of power generation. For the battery storage system, we're rolling out with three main applications. The user interface is going to provide the data the customer needs to operate the system. The main thing is the battery storage level, what the batteries are currently being used for. When the wind overproduces, you store that energy. When it underproduces, you use the energy from the batteries and you actually hit the average that you set your turbine to. The brilliant turbines fit into the idea of the industrial internet because they're able to be a node in that network of communication between people and smart machines. When we look at data, we look for exact numbers of how much is coming out. But we also look for change. So we look for fluctuations. And then where the data is going, I think, is the better context to put it in. We collect a lot of data in the turbines. And we're learning what do you do with that? How do you process that? And how do you make it into something that we can use to make our wind farms work more efficiently? I think there will always be some controversy over any energy source, but I think wind has the benefit of having some inherent goodness of it because it's renewable fuel. The way we are progressing, we believe that we can do a good job in integrating storage and providing that additional reliability to the wind power load. It's inspiring how the technology has progressed over the time. You can just stand on one hill and you can see all this right in front of you.